Hey y'all, it's Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. It's time for a brew. Hey, it's hump day and it's a beautiful day out. Wind's not blowing too much, so I can come out here and, and uh, have a brew with y'all today. Hey, um, today I have a brew from the Samuel Adams Brewing Company. It's a limited release, it's summer ale. Citrus, it's a citrus wheat ale. So this bright citrus wheat ale is a summer and it is summer in a glass, bursting with orange, lemon, and lime peels. Summer ale finishes clean and subtle with grains of paradise, which accent the crisp, wheat character, iconic and refreshing. Summer ale is perfect for any summer day. Well, it's not summer yet. Technically, it's still spring, but we're going to enjoy this beer today. All right? Oh, wet your whistle Wednesday. So, on the inside the bottle cap it says cheers. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says cheers. Samuel Adams. All right, so let's see what this looks like. <laughs> Man, that's pretty. Dad gum, look at that. All right, so y'all, I've been I've been doing some research, and and you know, I'm not a, I'm not an expert on anything. I'm just a dumb old southern redneck here in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. But I've been doing some research on beer and stuff like that. And here in the South, man, you know, growing up as a kid, I drank a lot of Coca Cola, and you know, you, you don't want your Coca Cola poured in a glass and it fizz all over the place. Well. I always learn to tilt your glass and just barely pour it in there, and that way you save all the fizz and the flavor. I'm just learning, man. I'm 54 years old, and I'm just learning you, that ain't the way you pour beer. Beer is different from cola. You're supposed to pour beer with a little bit of vigor to, to get your head. Now, this the head done gone off of this. But anyway, if you pour beer with vigor, you know, where you get a little bit of a head on it or some head, it releases the aroma of the beer and, and some of the flavor and stuff like that. So I'm still learning this stuff. Y'all be patient with me. I'm gonna, you know, try to, you know, bring more knowledge to you and myself as we continue on doing these videos. But anyway, um, Samuel Adams Summer Ale. Like I said, the head is already gone off of this, but man, it is just a beautiful color. It is clear. It might. It has just just a hint of haze. Now this is a this is a see that I don't know if you can tell or not but it has just a hint of a haze in it it's a beautiful color <laughs> bless me but this is a wheat beer now a wheat beer a lot of times will have a lot of haze in it this has just a hint of haze but I can still see clearly through it I can I mean I can tell it's hazy but I can still see through the glass Can't tell a lot about the aroma though, so we fix it. We fix it. Try this here. On wet your whistle Wednesday. Hmm. It's hump day for a lot of folks, but for me, it's my. It's, this is my weekend right here. This is my last day of weekend. I got to work tomorrow because of my work schedule. Every three months, my work schedule shifts. I work every other Sunday, and I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday every other Sunday. That's what I'm working now. And then when it changes, you know, in a couple months, I'll be working every other Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So anyway, whatever. Mmm. Okay. I can just see just a few bubbles still floating to the top. Man, this thing has a crisp flavor. I, 
I can, it says a crisp citrus flavor. I can just, it's just a hint of citrus in it, but man, it is delicious. Mm. Samuel Adams was the first beer that I had. Boy, I really got a, I really got a hint of that citrus that time. Samuel Adams was the first beer that I had that actually introduced me to the hoppy flavor of beer. Um, Cause you know I was used to the domestic beers, you know Bush, Bud, Miller, you know Michelob. Those are the kind of beers that I drank. And uh, when I first tried a Samuel Adams, I was like, "Whoa, man, this is something different, and it's something I really, really like." Now Samuel Adams has a bunch of different varieties, man, and, and of course they're a huge brewery, and you know they've got a bunch of different varieties. But the Boston Lager is what really turned me on to the hop flavor of beer. And I've been trying other hoppy beers since then. Just really, really love them. This one does not have the hoppy flavor to it. This one has just that, doesn't have a hoppy aroma at all. Hmm. You can taste the citrus in the finish. But when you first put it in your mouth, man, it's just like, is this even beer? I mean, as smooth as it can be. There's no bitterness. Um, I did one Saturday from the Tennessee Brew Works that was bitter. I mean, it, yeah, I liked it. I liked it better, but this is not bitter at all. But it's, man, it is just full of flavor. Mm. Almost almost a hint of lemon just a, just a touch but really really tasty beer ah man that's good stuff all right so i've sat here and drank about almost a whole glass but i just want to say hey thank you to all american workers um with all this corona crap going on you know some of you out of work Man, just appreciate y'all's work, and as soon as you can, please go back to work, because we need you. And I appreciate the work you do, and, and, you know, all this stuff that's going on is a pain in the butt. You know, I'm considered an essential worker, but here's the thing. Ain't none of us unessential. All of y'all that have worked and laid off right now, y'all are essential. And we need you back on the job, man, as soon as you can get there, man, because we, we appreciate the work you do. And we need each other. And we need to support each other and just let each other know, man. Hey, appreciate the work you do. So the American worker, man, that this is just if y'all find some a Samuel Adams uh, summer ale somewhere, get it. It is delicious. I'm telling you, this is some good stuff right here. Mm. Mm. Of course, I hadn't been disappointed in any of the Sammy Adams, actually. But anyway, hey, I forgot to get the first things first out of the way. Now, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you hit that little beer mug right there. Or you might hit that little beer mug right there. I can't tell because my camera's backwards. Alright, hit like and share and and uh, leave a comment below uh, shoot me an email uh, let me know some beers that you would like for me to try I'd love to try them for you if I can find them um, and if you've tried some of these beers let me know what you thought about them hey I love y'all appreciate y'all um, y'all enjoy your hump day I go to work tomorrow but anyway uh, I will see you tomorrow for Thirsty Thursday we'll try a different beer Y'all stay tuned. Oh, I, I forgot. I forgot to tell y'all, man. This stuff is 5.3% alcohol, which is, you know, just a little bit more than Bud. But definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Good stuff. Dang, I forgot. D-R-D-D-N-D-E-I-M-B-G-S and L-E-A. Uh, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Everything in moderation. Be goofy sometimes. And love everybody always.
very important. Love everybody, y'all. Love everybody. Hey, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. See ya tomorrow.